Here we are then, 16 laps of the track, 4,000 metres. Alex Edmondson gets underway for Australia using the double disc wheels on the bike this time. His fastest individual pursuit is 4.20.5. So he needs to produce something close to that to uh, take the gold medal. He was the fastest qualifier in 4.21.003. He was a gold medalist in the team pursuit in Minsk. And if you look back in the history books, it is three wins on the row for Australia with Michael Hepburn and Jack Bowbridge winning the last few titles in this individual pursuit. So the 20 year old Alex Edmondson now going for gold for Australia. Stefan Kung though is a very good individual pursuiter riding for Switzerland, the bronze medalist qualified in 421.203, just 0.2 of a second outside the time of the Australian rider. So we'll look to see what sort of time they go through the 1,000 metre point. Edmondson goes through in a very fast 17.445. The world record held by Jack Bowbridge of Australia set it in Sydney on the 2nd of February 2011, a time of 4.10.534. No one will really uh, get close to that, I don't think. It's unlikely on a track like this. In fact, many people will say that Jack Bowbridge's time won't be beaten for a long, long time. 139.037, still gold medal position for Alex Edmondson of Australia in his third world championships. Is it going to be gold for him? Looking across the track, he just took a little glimpse there of Stefan Kung, who is now 1.794 seconds down. Remember, in an individual pursuit, if you catch the rider on the other side of the track, it's all over. And that's what Edmondson looks to me like he's trying to do. He wants to ride Stefan Kung down. He wants to beat him, and he wants to beat him before the finish. 1.756 is now the gap between these two riders as Edmondson continues with this big trial. I love the fact that here in Cali in Spanish this event is called the persecution. It's so painful. But here we go now. Almost two seconds is the advantage for Edmondson as he hunts down the Swiss rider. He can almost see him in front of him. They are one straight difference between them now on the track. Has Edmondson gone too early? At 2.160 seconds is the advantage for Stefan uh, on Stefan Kung now for the young Australian rider who is heading here to try and take Australia's next gold medal to add to the silver won by Anna Mears earlier on today. Edmondson's gone through the 2,000 metre point in 2.11.014 and he is absolutely motoring, mouth wide open as he heads up to 3,000 metres in 3.15.474. He is 2.4 seconds ahead of Stefan Kung. He's rocking and rolling a little bit. Let's hope he hasn't gone out too early. And he ties up in the last 1,000. It doesn't look like he will, but the head's starting to rock a little bit. And Stefan Kung is coming back a teeny little bit. 2.319 seconds is the advantage for this Australian youngster going for gold as he races around the final few laps of this velodrome. If you're Australian, you will be urging him on now. 2.030, he is slowing up a little bit. Stefan Kung is coming back at him. Has he got anything left in the tank to uh, extend his advantage? Or is Kung really going to drive on? 1,000 metres now, uh, 250 metres to go. Alex Edmondson, 4.05. Kung is now only 1.333 down. And Edmondson's really going to have to dig deep. He is in a wall of pain. He can feel every single bit of lactic acid which is bubbling up towards his eyeballs. Heading now towards the finish. Hits the line now. Edmondson just takes it. That's incredible. 4.22.582. He is the world champion, but he only beat him by 0.41 of a second at the finish line. That was so, so close.